Thank you, everyone. You know that thing when you have the same dream for 720 nights in a row? And you wake up one morning and you think, okay, I get it now. Can I please have another dream now? And in this dream, can I please have a pair of cowboy boots? The kind of cowboy boots that walk the straightest and the most narrow routes. Anywhere but back to you. You were in my dream last night Like every night since two years ago I think my dream is trying to tell me something And I say tell me something I don't already know Just pour me a drink So I can refuse To raise my glass to the side And worn out midnight shoes In my next dream I want a pair of cowboy boots The kind that walks The straightest and the most narrow route Anywhere but back to you Here we are down the same old street Here we are with nothing to say Little hand trying to make it into hers But she puts it in her pocket and looks away I keep my eyes on the sidewalk For something flippable like a dime I wanna know how you forgive someone Someone you've forgiven so many times Just pour me a drink so I can refuse to raise my glass to the sand and worn out midnight shoes. In my next dream, I want a pair of cowboy boots, the kind that walks the straightest and the most narrow road. But back to you Anywhere but back to you Anywhere but back to you Anywhere but back to you The next song is a song about um, putting things into proportion. There's gotta be someone here tonight who can explain to me how shadows can also shed a light, how they can have shadows.
was in Washington, D.C. for the election. And when they announced the results, I left the procession. Content in the worst direction. direction. Try to call you for an estimation. estimation of the distance to the star constellation. So I was, um, I was home in uh, Gothenburg, Sweden, where I come from, last summer. And one day my friend who works at a hotel in the city calls me up. And she says, uh, you can never guess who just checked in. And I said, is it Kirsten Dunst? <laughs> and she said, yes. <laughs> now, the thing with Kirsten is that she uh, said in an interview a few years ago that she liked my music. And I've been trying to not be impressed by that. But, but I, I grew up in a suburb outside of Gothenburg next to this potato chips factory. And so what is a potato chips factory boy like me to do when Kirsten comes to my town except manically stalk her through the night? <laughs> so me and my friend Ewell, we, uh, we head out to this club where she's supposed to show up that night because I've got inf inside information. And uh, we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and nothing happens. And finally, I talk to my friend who's DJing that night, and I say, Clara, do you know what's going on with Kirsten? Is she coming tonight, or what? And she says, oh, no, no, no. She was trying to get in before, but there was like a long line outside, so she couldn't get in. And here's the thing about Gothenburg. There aren't any VIP lines in Gothenburg. And you won't get into the club faster because you have the right name or because you have money or because you made up with Spider-Man. <laughs> and, and I love that. I think that's great. And me and you, well, we wish that these basic principles of solidarity would be applied to the rest of society. Waiting for Kirsten, me and John 
Cause we found out the name of her hotel With a folkel and an evening paper In which she spelled out my name letter by letter Well I grew up outside the city Where the local Estrella Chips factory I'd pay the way to your grave and to your destiny So what can a suburban boy like me do when she mentions me? Who makes a compromise a portion of his dignity? Another club, another beer, another hour Squint at the clock up at the church tower what you doing here, you think? I heard she's filming with Von Trier. Hey, Clara, how's your night? Did you know about Kirsten? Have you seen her? She says, yeah, she was here, but she was turned away at the door. I know, I know, I can't believe no one told her before that in Gothenburg we don't have VIP lines. In Gothenburg we don't make a fuss about who you are in Gothenburg. Don't have VIP lights Then I bit my tongue And the taste of blood was so strong Cause times are changing, Kirsten Your tile be slowly reversing They turned the youth center into a casino They drew a swastika in your cappuccino and the VIP lines are not to the clubs But to healthcare apartments and jobs A body can I borrow five grand Cause my dad's in chemo and they wanna take him up his plan I said in Gothenburg we don't have VIP lines I said in Gothenburg we don't make a fuss about who you are in Gothenburg don't have VIP lines, but then I bit my tongue and the taste of blood was so strong. Went back inside outside her hotel And drank beer after beer till the sun came up And since she didn't show up Joel said I had to man up And write a note of affection and leave it in the reception And I wrote this confession with the lipstick from his girlfriend On the back of her receipt But the receptionist said I was drunk and asked me to leave Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone.